I honestly didn't see this one coming. I thought we were gonna get the Raider for this. Ah, that color is cool. What do you think? Hit it, bro. Yeah, there it is. Neat. We don't have enough green or orange RCs in the world, so I got a green one. It fit the bill perfectly for me because this model doesn't come with a battery or charger. You, I've already got all of that. So it was a few bucks cheaper. But if you are new to the hobby, you can get a model that is 100% ready to run. In case you didn't know, this is a rear wheel drive. It's the same setup as the Gorgon. No, no way. Not this time. A total fabrication is false. No way. Wrong. Obviously with different wheels, different bumpers front and rear, and these nice little side guards. And it comes with all the same electronics too. I loved the Gorgon. There's something about it. It was just awesome. You're right. It's fact. Probably should clean it up and take care of it. I have plans still for this thing. I'll link the videos at the end if you want to know how to do a brushless conversion on this system because I accidentally had to do that. Oh God. Oh God. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, that actually comes with some screwdrivers. That's cool. Sweet. Oh, it's ruined all the ASMR. That is a wild color. Oh, the colors, I, I still can't get over it. That's a looker, man. I never had one of the original Furies, but this thing, it looks good. All right, step aside for a sec here, bro. So the SLT2 transmitter, I've always pointed this out. It's got these little pointy things on the front. You can set it down, won't tip over. Sturdy, dependable, foam wheel. They're really not a bad entry-level transmitter. So this is cool, this is a first. Look at this. Now let's talk about these drivers for a second. It's not often you get like full-size tools. Yes, they're plastic and they are lightweight, but you get a two millimeter driver and a 2.5 millimeter driver. That's nice. You get some spring tensioning clips to adjust the suspension, a 1.5 millimeter Allen key. See? And then you get this multi-tool wrench, which is good for shocks and adjust the slipper clutch too. Delicious armor branded double A's. Shing, 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 shing. <laughs> All armors now come with one of these plastic little cards. On it, you can scan it with your phone and get tech support or scan this side to see what the vehicle's all about. Technical pack. Shows you how to change out the pinions, etc., and adjust the slipper clutch. And then lastly, your basic manual on troubleshooting, etc. blah, blah, blah. I still can't get over this color, man. Pops. It comes with Deep Boots Fortress tires. They're really soft. They got a lot of grip. There's foam inside of them too. They really, really remind me of the ones that came with the Sentin, but I think they're a little different. I could be wrong. I'm not going to fact check. Ain't nobody got time for that. It has similar body clips front and rear as the Gorgon, but they are slightly different. They don't come right out, so you just pull on them. Padunk. And then the body just pops out. They're not tethered and they're kind of funky, but it does stop them from coming out of the chassis. It's really nice that they stay in place because any RC guy can tell you that they've already lost one billion body clips. Your servo's mounted up front, two and one 2S ESC, big chunky 550 brush motor. So if you find you're not getting the power, you can adjust your slipper clutch here. But this is a really cool feature. So we got a 14 tooth pinion and it comes with this 14 tooth clip. So if you're to change pinions, you can get a clip and kind of make it foolproof and you don't have to mess around with the mesh. Now I thought this was a Gorgon chassis with a different body, but take a look at the wheelbase. Wheel to wheel, it's like two inches bigger. And that added wheelbase length means it's gonna be a lot more stable. There's a lot more ground clearance on this. You can see on the chassis, it goes down towards the A-arms. But the Fury chassis is like a flat pan. Shocks feel really good and gooshy. And the bumpers are really stiff. Like they're gonna take some good impact. It also looks like the rear A-arms are set up for a sway bar too. I know they're still gonna make a Raider and I'm sure it's gonna be brushless. And all these little bits and pieces that they're alluding to, they're gonna put on. So we're gonna get sway bar and we're gonna get adjustable toe. It's gonna have everything that we want and this is just a test run for it. Battery tray just pops open and you got an IC3 connection. Pretty big tray too. You should be able to get a 5,000 milliamp in there, no problem. And in typical Arm Affair, the hexes are 14 mil. It is difficult to find aftermarket wheels that are 14 mil, but you can get adapters directly from Arma to go to 12. Ooh, I like it. Ah, <laughs> cartoony. That's nice, man. That's nice on 2S. Servo actually feels nice and strong too. Very cool, very cool. All right, done with the boring stuff and the jibber jabber. Let's send it. The next day. Now you might call me an Arma fanboy. I'm self-professed, but 
This is innovation. It's cheap. The design works really, really well. And you take it over to its competitor, the Slash. This is the same model that they've been making since the 90s. They're trying something new and they're making it at a price point that a lot of people can afford. And sleeping on it, I realized that these clips, yeah, they're kind of janky and weird. But the reality is the way that this thing is designed, you never really have to take off the body unless you're cleaning it or doing maintenance. Battery tray is from below, so you're not taking it apart time and time again just to change your batteries. Got some good places to launch off of and a nice bright looking truck to do it in. Let's go. It's not the fastest, but it's got good control. Screaming for a brushless upgrade. Oh! <laughs> I did tighten up that slipper clutch a bit before we left. I like to get full power. I'm stuck on the bush. Ah, this is where I fall and get hurt. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh, oh god. <laughs> it is really lightweight. It doesn't have that mass to barrel through stuff, you know? You need that 3S wheel speed. Yeah, buddy, go, go, go. There you go. Ooh. Yeah, beautiful. Sweet. One more time. Yes. Oh, right in the face. Ah. Looking good, bro. <laughs> it's a nice cushy landing. Doesn't have that weight or the clearance, so it does get bunged up on stuff like that. Man, I've been nearly full throttled the whole time. Still going good, nothing smoking yet. Sweet. Yeah. Oh no. Ah. Oh man, I am getting bitten alive on mosquitoes. Woo. Whoa. Yeah, nice. Go, go, buddy, go. Wow, sick. Yeah. But I'm getting bit to death out here. Let's find another spot. I did loosen off that slipper clutch a bit, so it isn't really binding in hard anymore. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, you can see with the slipper clutch off, it just gets way better traction on this loose terrain. Yeah, total better traction. I didn't think about it when I first went there, but yes, a loose slipper clutch is good for loose terrain. This stuff, like grass, probably want to have it 
a little bit more tight, a little bit more aggressive. Oh my gosh, and the mosquitoes. Oh my God, I, I gotta get out of here. Come on, buddy. Quit stirring up all the bugs, bro. Yo. That was cool. This is the terrain it's suited for. Woo. Yeah, big time. This thing's amazing at the skate park. I know a really good skate spot. Tell me. It just go as fast as you can when you go in that corner. You launch? You don't, yeah. Yeah, this car doesn't go as fast though. It's kind of a slow car, but it's easy to drive and I haven't crashed it much, so it hasn't broke yet either, so that's pretty cool. I have a skate spot. I will. Can I go up there? Oh yeah, that is a good place. Yeah, it's a good lift. My battery's dead. So cool. No brakes, no leaks. Fun. Fun! Doesn't have the clearance, so the rougher terrain really isn't ideal for it. But it excelled at the skate park. Full throttle, bad launches, it landed and it landed it really, really well. I don't recommend your first RC basher go to the skate park, but if this is your first RC basher, you can probably take it to the skate park stock and you won't have a problem at all. Legit, it's fun. It needs to go faster though, much faster. So stay tuned for that one.